Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update with a sculpture which was added part way through the exhibition. It is located on the middle of the north side of the Colbrookdale Gates. Illustrations from early in the exhibition show no sculpture here, but it does appear in illustrations and photographs from later in the exhibition. The images we have are not particularly clear, but it is believed to be John Graham Locke's Satan. This piece was displayed at the Guildhall for a Grand State Ball in commemoration of the Great Exhibition which took place in July 1851 so we assume it was moved to the Great Exhibition later in July. This would also explain why it is not listed in the exhibition catalogue. The piece was moved to the Sydenham Crystal Palace, and it is believed it was lost in the 1936 fire. The next piece we have added is The Mother by John Henry Foley. The exhibition catalogue states this piece was in the main avenue of the exhibition, but we have not located its exact position, as we can find no further written reference to it, nor have we found it in any illustrations. However, coverage of the main avenue in illustrations is good, meaning it must have been in one of the few areas not covered by illustrations. So we have placed it here, as a billboard, until we can generate a 3D model. The piece is currently at the Royal Dublin Society, and we are grateful to them for providing this image. We now move through what will become the medieval court into the British Sculpture Court, where we have added nine more pieces, including two more by Foley. Starting in the centre of the room, the two statuettes on the right are both by William Boyton Kirk. This is Ariadne, and this is Hesione. Both pieces are believed lost. Moving to the east wall, the next piece added is Birth of the Rose by Benjamin Jennings. The piece is now believed to be in a private collection, albeit significantly damaged. At the back on the room against the south wall we have added Prometheus Chained by Samuel Manning II. Next to this is The Startled Nymph by William Bairns. Both of these are believed lost. Turning along the west wall of the room we come to Murder of the Innocents by George Gammon Adams. This piece is also believed lost. Further along the wall is Boy and Lizard by Thomas Sharp, also believed lost. Next to this is Ino and the Infant Bacchus one of the two newly added pieces in this room by John Henry Foley. The piece is now at the Royal Dublin Society, albeit the dangling bunch of grapes has been lost. It is presented here as a billboard until we can generate a 3D model. The other piece by Foley is near the corner of the room. It is the Houseless Wanderer, also now at the Royal Dublin Society, and presented as a billboard until we can generate a 3D model. We are grateful to the Royal Dublin Society for providing this image. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.